Hi, this is Robert, and welcome to IPC Tips. Today we're going to be talking about QVDs. Now we have an app open here. We're loading sales data from a, a database. Let's say we wanted to do some development on this data, or we're thinking we might use some of these tables in other apps. Here it might be good to use QVDs to avoid hitting the database multiple times and be able to use this data in a compressed and fast reload. Let's look at our data. Here we're looking at a dimension for customers that have purchased AdventureWorks products. Currently we are loading this data directly from the database and using it immediately in our app. It's not being stored except for in the app and is not accessible to any other apps. If we save this data into a QVD, we can then access it at any time and see a saved state of the data. First, we'll create an app called a QVD Builder. Its sole purpose is to load the data from the database and store it into a QVD. Since we already have script here for the customer dimension, we'll copy it to our already created Customer Layer 1 QVD Builder. Once the table is loaded into memory, we'll add our store statement. The key parts of the store statement are the keyword store, the table name, the keyword into, and the file path where the QVD will go. In this case, we're putting it into the library IPDF QVDs. Here we will add the file name for the QVD. Usually we name this the same as the table for clarity. Don't forget to add the file extension, in this case QVD. It's also important to note that when you have spaces in your file path, you need to add brackets around the file path. Finally, we want to add QVD in parentheses to specify the file format for click to export. One other thing that we usually like to add at the end of the QVD builder is a drop table statement. Since no apps are referencing this builder, only the QVD that it creates, there's no reason to populate it with data. We're saying drop, table, and then the table name. If we now load our data, we'll see that we are hitting the AdventureWorks database, we are storing the table, and then we're dropping it. We can also see that we have no data model viewer because there's no data in this app. Let's create another QVD. This time we'll look at the Fact Internet Sales table. We can go ahead and copy this script over to our already created QVD Builder. For the Fact Internet Sales table, we will use what's known as an incrementally loading strategy. We actually already have a partial QVD created with this data, but we need to add to it as new orders come in. There are other types of incremental load strategies, depending on if we need to update records or even delete records that have been removed from the database. But like I said, here we'll just add new records. The first thing to do will be to look at the max order date in our already existing QVD. We're only at this time interested in the order date. And in fact, only the max order date. We will then store this max order date into a variable so that we can use it later. We will then drop the fact internet sales table for now.
we'll then change our where clause in Fact Internet Sales. We will cover using the promotion key in a different episode. We will take the where clause where order date is greater than max order date, which we already found. We will then concatenate our existing records from the QVD. We will then store the fact internet sales table overriding our current QVD. But don't worry, both sets of data will be present. And finally, drop the table from our app since it won't be used further. Let's reload and see how we did. We got an error here, and I can already tell that it's likely because of the formatting of our date. Scrolling up, we can see, yes, the date format did not convert from a character to a proper date. We can fix this by adding the date formatting function before we store the max order date into our variable. Let's reload again. We can see that we loaded 58,000 records from the database and added that to the 2,000 or so records we already had in the QBD. If we reload again, we would expect to see zero records loaded from the database and 60,000 records loaded from the QBD. Yep, just like we expected. So let's recap. We might want to use QVDs when we are developing or using a table in multiple apps and we only want to hit the database once. Within QVDs, we can load all of the data fresh every time or we can incrementally load data and only pull the changes between the server and our current state. Thanks for watching IPC Tech Tips and remember to subscribe for more content.